Welcome back to this tutorial guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hide any Dokkan menu, any Dokkan vendor dashboard menu with CSS. Okay, so in my previous tutorial, I, show you, I showed you how to hide some of the menus with a plugin. Okay, but that plugin is not sufficient to hide all of the Dokkan menus because there are some menus that cannot be hidden by the plugin. So I'm going to show you how to hide all of those menus using CSS. So um, I can as well just copy and paste. I can as well just paste the code um, on my customizer. But let me show you how to do this yourself as well. So basically, suppose I wanted to hide the um, support menu. Okay. I'm just going to open this page. And for some reason, I may want to handle support on my website. I, I don't want to leave that to my vendors. So suppose I want to hide the support menu. What I need to do is I need to right click on the support and click on inspect. Okay. Now when I click on inspect, I would see um, some code here, the HTML code and the CSS styles. So basically what I want to look at is this HTML code first because I want to hide with CSS, right? And right here I see that there are some list items. Okay. And as you see, as I move, um, you know, this items are being you know highlighted here as i move on the options here on the html section right now what i need is i'm going to target the list items with the various classes you see the classes are different so there's the dashboard product orders reviews withdraw and followers as well as support okay so for that for the support the class is active support okay so active and support right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use CSS to target these um, classes and I'm going to disable them. So just follow me. I'm going to target the support class right here. And I'm also going to target the followers class so that you can, you know, see how you can do this yourself. Okay. So basically, what I want you to do is I want you to go to the back end of your website. So um, this is the back end of my website and come to appearance and customize. When you get to customize, I need you to come to, so this is the menu, I need you to come to additional CSS, okay? And let's add some CSS here. So um, you see I already added some CSS before. I have a series of Dokkan customization tutorials and I'll leave the playlist in the description, okay? So it will help you actually customize your Dokkan um, website, multi-vendor website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a comment and say, I'll say hide. Um, several Dokkan menus okay all right so I'll see high menu options so yeah that's what I'm gonna call this now what I'll do is I'll say li because I'm targeting a list item and then I'll say dots because I'm gonna target a class right and I'll just say support and then I'll add my CSS to display and I'll set it to none and I'll oh I, I'm not gonna save I'm supposed to publish okay so and I'll click on publish okay so I need you to look at what I did here very well I targeted a list item that has a class of support and I set the CSS to display unknown now what, what, what we're gonna do let's go back to our vendor okay so this is our vendor dashboard now remember this is the li item and it has a class of support right so this is what we targeted, that's your PPURT. Now I'm going to close this and refresh the page and you will see that the support um, menu will be gone. So I'll click on dashboard. And as you can see, the support menu is gone. So let's do for followers, okay, just to um, revise the pro process. So I'll go back to my CSS and then I would say li dot followers and then I'll add style of display and I'll set it to none and I'll close now I'll publish this and let's refresh the page now when I refresh the page I expect the followers to be gone so I'll refresh the page and as you can see the followers um, menu is out of the way so that's how essentially you can hide all of these options here from your um, 
from your vendor dashboard thank you so much for watching this tutorial i have a whole lot of um dokan customization video do subscribe to my channel if you use wordpress if you're interested in programming and some other cool stuff thank you so much see you in another one